Uh, hi, uh, my name is uh, Gary Gall. I'm with OSU South Centers in Piketon. Uh, I'm an extension specialist and also an associate professor uh, here at the OSU South Centers. Uh, uh, my responsibilities uh, actually cover quite a bit, and, and I cover uh, small fruits, and, which would include uh, things like blackberries, raspberries, uh, and uh, uh, well, blackberries, raspberries, uh, 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 blueberries, and uh, maybe even uh, wine grapes, uh, and then other crops uh, uh, that I'm working on. Uh, uh, it could be uh, gooseberries and currants, uh, and the newest thing is uh, superberries. And uh, speaking of superberries, uh, one of them uh, is called uh, uh, aronia, and some uh, some folks uh, call it aronia berry. Uh, actually, uh, aronia is not uh, a berry; uh, it's uh, uh, it's close. It's more closely. Uh, related to uh, actually apples and palm fruits. So you, when you look at it, even though it looks like a berry, uh, but it's really uh, not. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, it's called aronia berry. Uh, in, the, in our case, uh, we are actually more specifically talking about uh, 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 black, uh, you know, black ones. Uh, uh, if you just say, oh, aronia berry, I don't know what that is. Uh, actually, the common name is called chokeberry. Uh, a chokeberry doesn't really sound that exciting uh, uh, because uh, uh, actually chokeberry when birds eat uh, eat the unripe uh, uh, unripe uh, chokeberries and, and that would uh, uh, choke the birds and so I believe that's where that uh, name uh, came from. Uh, but anyway, uh, in our case, uh, uh, the common name is called uh, black chokeberry. Uh, and so the Latin name uh, or uh, uh, if you really wanted to know exactly what it is, it would be Aronia uh, malinocarpa, so that would be called uh, black chokeberry. Uh, I'm actually st uh, standing uh, uh, while kneeling down uh, uh, right in front of uh, a, uh, an Aronia uh, bush, and it's, uh, uh, it's really not that much to look at uh, right now. Uh, the cultivated uh, uh, aronia for fruit production and uh, their leaf color uh, is really not as uh, not as exciting as the ornamental ones. Ornamental ones, uh, right now, you would see mostly uh, yeah, brilliant, uh, yeah, brilliant red. Uh, and so this one is just kind of uh, more like a brown, you know, kind of more like a brownish. Uh, but black uh, chokeberry aronia uh, typically would start out uh, uh, with white flowers and, uh, in spring. And then they will develop uh, little tiny fruits and about the size of uh, most of our small uh, crab apples. And then uh, uh, during the uh, during the season, uh, fruits will uh, get a little bit bigger, and then they will uh, kind of turn red, and and then eventually will turn black. Um, uh, aronia uh, uh, berries or uh, or, uh, or aronias, uh, it's being uh, grown uh, actually quite. Uh, 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 quite uh, quite widely in Europe, especially Poland, and they have tons and thousands of, of acres of uh, aronias. Uh, in the United States and, and especially in Ohio, uh, we just uh, got started. Uh, uh, but in uh, in the state of Iowa, and uh, during the last ten years, and they went from uh, almost uh, none to about uh, one thousand some uh, acres. And this is all based on uh, uh, just. Uh, uh, not not uh, truly official uh, 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 act census and just by uh, uh, by talking to uh, by personal communication. Uh, but anyway, in Ohio we have some uh, aronia uh, production. And so, if you were uh, thinking about uh, growing this plant and, and uh, as a commercial uh, crop, and it's uh, it's really not that hard to grow uh, when it gets to its mature size, and they're about the size of. Uh, uh, of a, uh, a blueberry bush and about four to five feet tall. So it's a very uh, uh, relatively easy crop to grow. Uh, uh, if you, uh, uh, if you uh, read uh, some of the articles, uh, uh, the article will say, well, the uh, birds don't really like chokeberries. Uh, well, we found out uh, 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 quite, uh, well, we, we learned the lesson uh, the hard way because uh, one time we were uh, and we were getting ready to sample fruits and we came out and all of our fruits were gone. So uh, uh, initially uh, uh, fruits are too, uh, too astringent to birds and, and uh, 
uh, and then they don't eat those, but as, as soon as, as the fruits uh, started ripening, and then birds actually uh, like them quite a bit. Uh, uh, one type of bird that uh, loves uh, aronia is uh, uh, see the wax wing, so you typically see those in, in August or September. And so, if you do grow them as a commercial crop, uh, maybe netting would be uh, uh, netting would be necessary. Uh, for the home garden, uh, you would definitely uh, need the netting; otherwise, you won't get any uh, any fruits. Uh, and then, soil requirements is really not the uh, well. The soil uh, condition is really not that. Uh, uh, either way, uh, most soils are pretty good, and, and uh, uh, diseases and, and they don't really have that many, uh, but we, uh, in terms of insects, uh, we do know that the spotted wing uh, Drosophila uh, can get on them and uh, can cause a problem. Spotted wing Drosophila is a new uh, invasive uh, insect species and that gets on lots of our fruits. And this is a pretty easy, uh, easy crop to grow and uh, more and more aronia plants are uh, widely uh, uh, available uh, through local garden centers now and, and then there are also ornamental types and uh, one of them is called autumn magic it's, it has a brilliant uh, fall color um, but the fruit uh, quality is not as good as the uh, the ones designed for fruit production hopefully you learned uh, a few things about aronia if you need more information, you can always attend our workshops and field nights and all that. Uh, that's where we cover everything uh, more in depth.